The Japanese Pop Culture Festival drew in a large number of enthusiasts over the course of two days and witnessed participation from several fans as well as companies and groups that are interested in and follow various aspects of Japanese culture. The trendy, ev the trendy event was co-organized by Fikra Events and Busala Hobbies and also featured several contests with the first place winners each receiving an all-expenses-paid trip to Australia to participate in the renowned Shadow Lou Sh Showdown 2013. Sarah Glubb was at the National Library with this report. On the sidelines of the Japanese pop cultural festival that was organized by Fikra Events in cooperation with the Ministry of Youth Affairs and the Japanese Embassy in Kuwait, an exhibition was held showcasing various Japanese related products, information and forms of art. Actually, our embassy is very, very pleased to see the event organized here this evening because it is a first Jap uh, 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 Japanese pop culture related event to introduce all aspects of Japanese pop culture in a, in a complicated manner. So I'm very happy. That's pretty sure that the creative people who came here tonight has deepened the understanding of Japanese culture, way of thinking, and sensitivity. Show the creative, the Japanese pop culture, ex uh, especially the Akihabara and Harajuku, we are the center of the Japanese pop culture. Our role in this event is uh, to live stream it to the internet uh, to show the world what's, uh, what's happening in Kuwait. Also, we have our booth in here. Uh, we have some merchandise and some challenges for the participants. The festival also featured several competitions related to Japanese culture, including the Shadow Lu Showdown qualifiers, the anime drawing contest, the figure modeling contest, and the cosplay or Japanese costume play contest. Here we have two kinds of hand drawing black and white and color drawing. Digital drawing is about only who pay drawing on computers. So now drawing have three categories. But as for the modeling, we have the military, the science fiction, and we have three other models, the cars and the scratch build and resin. Uh, to be honest, we were expecting some, some beginner artworks, but uh, we were surprised that we had a lot of talented people uh, participating in the competition. And what, what made us uh, have some uh, uh, serious arguments while judging, because uh, some people said that some pieces had to work, uh, had to win, and some, some others had to lose. So, so we, we were kind of having a, a bit of ar an argument because of how talented the people are. We really struggled to uh, pick the winners because uh, all of them had something unique and uh, their, their set of skills is really high so we, we were really struggling in finding the, the ones that should win and we, in any way we would uh, not do justice the other ones. Uh, and I'm cosplaying Kakuzo, it's an enemy called Naruto and I'm, I'm a villain in that enemy. I came here to support the cosplayers and the event and also watch the contest. My sculpture is Wolverine from the X-Men. It's a Marvel, it's, it's from Marvel Comics. Uh, he comes with uh, two head displays, a comic version and a realistic version of a younger Wolverine. Also the hand which, which is holding the cigar is detachable which you can use uh, attach a hand with a claw as well. The event was a huge success and one that attracted Japanese pop culture fans from all across Kuwait. On the sidelines of the Japanese Pop Culture Festival that was held with the support of the Japanese Embassy, spectators and visitors were exposed to a wide variety of unique Japanese collections from artworks and toys to the world of fantasy and games. From the National Library, this is Sarah Glove reporting for your English News.